Welcome to Wisdom of the Book of Mormon, hosted by Jimi Hendrick. Hello, 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 folks. Welcome to Wisdom, a book of, a book of the Book of Mormon. For the longest time, it was Scripture and Revelation, and, well, I had been across uh, social media platforms talking to people about it, and obviously it's in popular demand in the church, and I can see why. I've been seeing the consequences of what's been going on. I want you guys to forgive me. I have been not been heeding one of the words of the prophets about reading the Book of Mormon every day. So we're going to start with the two title pages. We're going to start with the two title pages. So get, I want you guys to get ready. The first title page says, The Book of Mormon. Another testament of Jesus Christ. And of course, it gives, you know, the copyright details and all that stuff. The Book of Mormon, Another Testament of Jesus Christ. You know, in my uh, business dealings, and, and personal as well, I met quite a few friends in 2022 and, and 2023. And they have a lot of misconceptions about the church. And you know what? I love them anyway. I guess it just tells me in some ways they're not ready to receive the fullness, which is regrettable. What's funny is my, my late BFE, Keith Cotton, he knew. He knew somehow I was ready because I refused to bow the Smiths. Because my buddy Keith, I mean, I'm not saying... He lived a stellar life. I'm not saying that he lived totally in accordance with the gospel. But I knew he loved what he believed. And so why not? So now we go into the meat of the message. Which is the, the title page of the Book of Mormon. That was done by. Uh, translated by Joseph Smith. I want you to read this with me. An account written by the hand of Mormon upon plates taken from the plates of Nephi. Wherefore, it is an abridgment of the record of the people of Nephi and also of the Lamanites written to the Lamanites, who are a remnant of the house of Israel, and also to Jew and Gentile, written by way of commandment, and also by the spirit of prophecy and the revelation, written and sealed up, and hid up unto the Lord, that they might not be destroyed, to come forth by the gift and power of God unto the interpretation thereof, sealed by the hand of Moroni, and hid up unto the Lord, to come forth in due time by way of the Gentile, the interpretation thereof by the gift of God. An abridgment taken from the book of Ether also, which is a record of the people of Jared, 
who were scattered at the time. The Lord confounded the language of the people when they were building a tower to get to heaven. Which is to show unto the remnant of the house of Israel what great things the Lord hath done for their fathers. And that they may know the covenants of the Lord, that they are not cast off forever. And also to the convincing of the Jew and Gentile that Jesus is the Christ, the eternal God, manifesting himself unto all nations. And now, if there be faults, they are the mistakes of men. Wherefore, condemn not the things of God, that ye may be found spotless at the judgment seat of Christ, that they may know the covenants of God, that they are not cast off forever. Shall, shall we explore that? Let's let's explore that. I think we should go to the find it, the Institute Manual for the Book of Mormon. I have a print copy, but in some ways it's easier at this point to get uh to get the uh to get the the new uh, testament, let me get the 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 digital. Okay, so here's the thing. Can we believe that the Book of Mormon it was written for our day? You know, it's it's the keystone our, of our religion. That's a big thing. See, and it says this in the, the Institute Manual. The prophet Joseph Smith stated, I told the brethren that the Book of Mormon was the most correct of any book on earth. And the keystone of our religion. And a man could get near to God. By buying by its precepts. Than by any other book. And I can hear some people. From the pers Christian persuasions. And believe it or not. I do understand where they're coming from. But I can hear them. You know. But, but Jimmy Jimmy. Hold on now. Hold on. Are you saying you don't believe in the Bible anymore? Of course I do. And I still read and reverence the Bible with all my heart. But if you ask me, the Book of Mormon answers some of the questions that's in the Bible. And to be honest with you, one of the reasons why I feel like I have not been in obedience to the prophets about this is... They say to read the Book of Mormon every day. And why? You, you, may, you may ask this, and I may ask this, why? And, and now I know why. Sometimes I need comfort. And you know what? The Book of Mormon brings comfort to me. And I was going to wait and do and, and start the um, episodes uh, in November. And something told me, uh, no, uh-uh. You, you need to start today. You, now's, now's a good time as anything. And why? Why read the Book of Mormon? Because it's like what my buddy Keith said. 
cover to cover it, it it's a it's testimony that points to Christ. Cover to cover, it provides comfort for those who know the covenants that they have with the Lord. I received comfort even when I wasn't within the gospel by reading the Book of Mormon. I'm not saying that the Bible doesn't comfort me. It does. But I think I think sometimes it can be misapplied. I want you to listen to what Elder Jeffrey R. Holland, the Quorum of the Twelve, said. He uh, He's one of my favorite apostles. Uh, he wrote that the Book of Mormon should be considered the most remarkable and important religious text um, to be revealed since the writing of the New Testament uh, were compiled near two millennia, millennia ago. Indeed, in its role of Restoring plain and precious truths that have been lost, which adding scores of new truths about Jesus Christ and preparing the way for the complete restoration of his gospel. And the triumphant day of his millennial return, the Book of Mormon may be considered the most remarkable and important religious text ever given to the world. So, there we go. But, but Jimmy, but Jimmy, you're saying that the Book of Mormon is your Bible. No, I never said that. I still read Holy Writ, Old and New Testament. But the Book of Mormon provides further testimony. From what I've known from reading the Bible all along. It confirms it, and it strengthens it. It adds truth where once there has been confusion in my mind. Oh, but Jimmy, but Jimmy, no, I'm not interested in that. So, I challenge you, you know, next year we're going to be doing the Book of Mormon, Come Follow Me. And, but I'm going to be starting quite a bit earlier than, than most of uh, the church because I'd like to start in November so that I can move on to Second Nephi and the beautiful Isaiah chapters that talk about his birth in December and, and build, build it up to where I'm in, I'm in Third Nephi by June and Moroni by September. See, the Book of Mormon testifies of, of Jesus Christ, of his divinity. It testifies of his atonement. It, it reaffirms that God's covenant. You know, it's, it goes along with what President Nelson said in a 2020 uh, General Conference. Restoration of the gospel is ongoing. The restoration of the gospel is ongoing. And why shouldn't it be? Why shouldn't it be? I hope you got subscribed to this now that we've we've started out. It was scripture and revelation for the longest time, and I didn't do much with it. And now I'm thinking, you know, for, for this year, for once for this year. Do an experiment on the Book of Mormon and see how many people believe. And why not? 
Okay? So, next week, I want you to be ready. We're going to be doing an introduction to the Book of Mormon. And I I hope... I hope that you enjoy this because and, and subscribe. And, and those of you in the church, tell your friends in and outside the church, listen to it. Listen to what you be, you might be surprised at what I um, come up with. Because I'll read the text of the Book of Mormon, yes. But I'll be looking at footnotes um, that point to the Bible at times. I may be looking up some of the words of Latter day Apostles. Tune in next time as we talk about the wisdom of the Book of Mormon introduction. Do you take it away?